Hello everyone, my name is Oyele Olawale Peter, and this is a game between Koladi Anobogun versus Solomon Kenny. This game was played in the year 2007, September to be exact. Um, Koladi was white, his rating was 1890 versus Solomon Kenny, International Master Dane, his rating was 2344. That's like if 500 points more than that of Koladi Anobogun. Yes, and the game goes to um, Rook AD1, white just played Rook AD1. And black played bishop to f5, bishop f5. White played um, rook c1. Here, um, Kaladi felt like if he, if he can exchange the coins with two rooks, if he can offer for the exchange, he believes, well, with the two bishops, bishop here and his queen, it's better. Solomon was not looking at the downside of those two bishop pairs. He went for queen takes rook, and this actually is not a good move. Now, here, all it takes was for the bishop to just come to f4 and once the bishop is on f4 there is no way the rook can get into the back rank and there is no way he can even take the f2 pawn but here Koyanobogun went for e6 keeping an eye on the pawn on g5 thinking queen takes pawn check and none like that and here black played rook f1 threatened to take his own pawn so queen takes pawn check bishop interposes and here white played queen back to e6 which definitely turns the game around gives um international master solomon kennedy advantage black gets the advantage immediately the best move here was to play bishop times g7 and after rook takes check um, king to g1 um rook to g2 check <clears throat> excuse me king to f1 h5 this game will end up in a draw you know with precise play quotes with precise play it's going to like end up in a draw it's drawish but the heat of the moment we have to consider that factor that um playing queen e6 um queen e6 and immediately rook times f2 check black is winning king to um h3 and we have rook times b2 rook times b2 yeah rook times b2 well I, I, well, the engine says uh, all white has to do, um, all black has to do, was to just capture the bishop, queen takes, and we have a rook e2, you know, queen g5 check, king goes in there, bishop d1, rook down, threatening a mate in one move. Is that a mate? No, 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 sorry. Threatening a um, rook um, h1 check, the king goes up then, the rook pins the queen to the king, and the game is all over. But bishop takes the pawn and we see how takes bishop now we have three pieces two rooks one knight versus one queen of course the um black is um definitely winning this kind of position um, once you have achieved this there is no way no way no way black is white is just going to resign in a couple of moons but in the game what happened was um after queen e6 um after king h3 this man just went ahead to capture the pawn on beat and bishop takes pawn Knight takes, um, Queen takes, um, Rook B5. No way. He played F2. Oh, well, I don't know. We don't know the time pressure. We don't know what is over. We're just trying to check what the game was like, and I'm trying to just give it to you in an entertain entertaining way, not like I'm analyzing their games or true. F2. We could say that he wants to Queen. Just put the pawn to F1, and we're good. But this move just made the position virtually equal and um, actually the best move for um black to play was to play rook b5 and after the queen runs away then they can now play f2 then um gets to queen um like this f2 if queen goes check rook goes back queen um comes to um c4 trying to stop the pawn from queening but we have uh, with the check we have the king h8 for us after the bishop comes in then we have the rook b1 and there is no way you can stop the coin the pawn from queening and this game is over no gone it's gone but after f2 the position becomes very equal very very equal check bishop goes back here check you know bishop g7 check you know in this situation you imagine now um the gms uh, i am then so the will be like oh how can i just blow that position up you know just was winning there and you know now this guy is getting a draw out of this this 1890 rated player come on how can i do this 
Can you imagine how many releasing points are going to chuck out of him immediately? So, we shall have a chair. And we now understood why you had to like change it, the tack you know, of the game. H5 begins to draw the moment this move came out. And here, the bishop was just looking at the rook on B2. But maybe psychologically, you knows what, what happened. All of a sudden, we just saw the rook before. Oh my god. Another good now, so I have fly. All of a sudden, takes the rook. Bishop d6. Uh, no, this won't work anymore. And the position just from winning to equality. You don't want to take the draw, becomes a losing position. You know, another good just went for the queen takes, and he felt with this position, it's too, it's too, it's too easy for him to just win with a little bit of technique anyway. Um, the short time said that he took the pawn again. Like, okay, let's see. The worst that can happen is for you to get the draw. But with my two pawns, with these pawns, uh, no, no, this is definitely going to win. This is a winning position. That was how Kola Nobugun defeated Suleiman Kenny in the African Individual Championship September 2007. Seven, um, like, yes, 10 years ago. A good one from, from both parties. So, if you are. Um, a higher rated player playing a lower rated opponent and you have this draw well take it it's better than losing my advice anyway but how okay, can I, I i don't think so it doesn't work that way in chess once you have a superior position you you don't care even your opponent is you no know, when you have a drawish position i mean and your opponent is so 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 unrated please go ahead and still look for a way to swindle him but you have to be careful don't hang a piece like Solomon Kennedy. Thank you. Bye for now.